everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar. I'm here with Ariel Celestino. Hey. Hey, and we're here, we're going to talk about Heavy Metal issue number two, published in May of 1977. And I don't remember this one at all, Ariel, so um, yeah, I, I, uh, I have a vague recollection. I'm sure my memory will be jolted. I, I believe this is a Mobius painting. Is it? I didn't know he did much painting. I only I know him so. for like the you know the black and white. Okay. It kind of looks like it does. a creature design yeah. that he would do. Yeah. But uh, well, we'll see. We'll, find we'll get out. to the. We'll, we'll get to this. Boom. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Mobius, you are correct. Yeah, it is tardy. Rare to we were see just him. talking about tardy. Yeah. So we're gonna, oh, see, we're go. gonna see tardy right now. Uh, yeah. So he does do some painted stuff. I have some yeah. art books of his that have painted stuff, but it's not, it's not all that common to find. Yeah. Completely painted. Interesting. I'm just looking at some of these names here. That you're talking about, Matty uh, Simons. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Matty Simons. And President Leonard uh, Mogul. Yeah. Who went to? What we're talking about These last are issue. The, the guys that that brought uh, Metal Hurlant to America as yeah. heavy metal. Here we go. And so uh, these first couple of issues are interesting because it gets into a little bit of the history of how yeah. the magazine was started and. Mm -hmm. Um. I like this image too. I forgot. Like that, that that's, Corbin. that's Corbin, right? Yeah, it looks I like think, Corbin, yeah. I believe it is. So he would do this and then he would put colors on I think this that. might just be straight, this like book. pen and ink. And yeah. then, because he did do a lot of that kind of stuff too. Like he would, he would just do black and white stuff and then take a uh, airbrush and do the model. That's so crazy. It. I think that's so fascinating. And, and yeah. freehand. It looks, you can tell when stuff's stenciled, which there's nothing wrong with that, but still. I don't know what this ad is for. I guess some records, yeah, yeah. like a it's record. It's a record. It's a radio station. Oh, huh. Terrestrial yeah. radio. That's fascinating. Okay, okay. Is this the guy? Oh no, this is Tardy, right? Yeah. This is Tardy. So, uh, French, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And uh, I know actually, there's a new Tardy story out by Fanographics. There's like it's like a World War One like little uh, series hardcover series. Yeah, I haven't um, seen it, but I bought them and I haven't read them yet. But uh, I bought them at San Diego Comic Con. It's on my big stack of things to read. to read. But I saw the art and I was like, oh, this guy looks great. So I didn't know he was doing stuff way back here. Yeah, and it's this is interesting. You can tell it's it's like cartooned on the spot kind of. Yeah, like, it, it, this the yellow submarine. Uh, yeah, I was <laughs> but, just, yeah, totally but like, like the Soviet the, version. The Soviet, the... It's like the Russian version. Yeah. Yeah, it. This does look, I guess, I would think rougher was one word, or or maybe yeah. just like you said, just kind of a quick. Um, you know, he might have just straight did this without even any pencil. Just like, yeah. you know, he could have just drew this. Which um, is interesting when, because you'll, you'll see Mobius do that too. And yeah. when he does do oh. that, it's much looser, right? Yeah. Because he's not. But yet, but then you also have these really nice perspection, I mean, perspectives. And even this stuff is really nice. You yeah. know, it, it's not just a bunch of. Malarkey. He knows where to he place knows. things in the frame, you know, yeah. to make it interesting. Yeah. And he, you know, he had a hair dryer at some point, I guess. <laughs> well, <'Cause he's, laughs> he's, he's, he didn't spend much time in, like, actually designing yeah. things. He just took, yeah. like, the submarine for yellow maybe submarine. It was, maybe it was like a heat gun, actually. Maybe. So, this is kind of fun. It's fun, though. It's kind of out there. Yeah. For sure. It's it's one of these things. A lot of these short stories have, like, those kind of leading to a surprise ending. Yeah. A lot of silliness. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And now we go back to um, um, this is a continuation of a story written by yeah. Philip Drulet and yeah. uh, forgot the artist's name. Let me see, uh, uh, Merce Merceco uh, or Gal. oh oh Alexia oh, no. Alexia Alexia, Alexia. Alexia. Okay. yeah yeah. And this we I love this. This was more of the same good stuff. The only problem I have with heavy metal uh -huh. is when I would buy them, it's like if I'm missing one of them, yeah, I'm hosed because the stories. Don't you know? Yeah. You don't get one full story. You just get a chapter. So you're just like, yeah. oh, I got chapter one, but right. now I'm on chapter three. What happened in between? And right. and sometimes it's just hard. I have to go back and read, reread those because, you know, if I wait a month, I don't remember what just happened. Yeah, you know, yeah. a month ago. Yeah, it's not that much difference than than multi issue runs in American yeah. comics. And That's then true. there are some some things in here that are 
just standalone little short stories. Well, and later on, they do have issues, uh, more maybe the Kevin Eastman run stuff, where they'll do like a special issue of just this whole story yeah. by Beasley, right? It's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. eighty page yeah. of this guy, it's and those like I really like. Graphic novel, yeah, self-contained yeah. I like like there's like a Monera. I remember I have one of a yeah. Monera where it's like it's the whole thing. It's like yeah. sixty pages of Monera. I'm like, oh, this is great. Yeah, you're right. I think the so, Ke- Kevin Eastman era. Maybe he kind of started doing yeah, those. Yeah, but that like, was later. That was much later. 90s. So that late was like 90s, late, yeah, yeah, late, late 90s, 90s, early yeah. 2000s. Even. Yeah. yeah, this is very much anthology yeah. continuation type type stuff. I do like it. Yeah. It's really cool. Loose. I like I like all the loose stuff. Just the kind of a almost gestural. Yeah. Kind and of and you can see how effective that is even in, in, in storytelling. Like some uh-huh. of this looser stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's sure. a lot of character, if nothing else. Yeah, and energy. But they're still ruling these borders. Yeah, <laughs> these borders, borders are, are like incredibly... perfectly lined up. He's no not screwing around with the borders. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of funny. Oh, and this is that. Uh, this is the, Von Baudet. Yeah, Von Baudet, right? This is uh, the chapter two of Some Pot, where uh, outer I just, space. I just caught it. Yeah, I just yeah. I just got the reference. And, and Von Baudet is like a really interesting guy. If you don't know, I don't know. About I don't know him. anything He's, about his his story. Was he? Did he start in graffiti or? No, no, no. Ne- he predated or? this. He was an underground comic artist from like the late sixties, early seventies. Okay. okay. And then just evol- uh, evolved like a cult following. Mm. And, and they his style is just that. yeah. His style is so distinct and mm-hmm. it's cartoony, but it's like adult well, content. I've seen that so, face or yeah. this kind. Of, I've seen this kind of thing. And so many know? people have ripped him off now that it may yeah. lose a little of its impact. But like seeing this for the first time was just yeah. mind blowing. Like great car- cartoony, yeah, kind of stuff. Well, and the word balloons too. And that's the, why the, I had letter, you know, man. The like, sound effects, the coloring of them. Um, I mean, look at that lettering. Like, yeah. if you want to, like, it's yeah. so idiosyncratic. It, yeah, yeah this stuff is like legible and and yeah, just interesting to look at on its own. Yeah, I'm curious. It looked maybe a crow quill, but it's kind of bubbled at the end. I don't know if it's like a lot of markers. Or, mar- or is it markers? Yeah, I think a lot of markers. I think, from what I understand, mm. uh, from other bigger Von Day fans that uh-huh. I know, that that's. That's the way, and you can see sort of like these gradations here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, like that. That's very yeah, much that looks, looks that like looks marker. Pretty cool. Yeah. Huh. I didn't know they had good markers back in the seventies. I always assumed that. I think that was marker like technology. Mid seventies is, is when like des- those design markers started coming out. Do you remember oh, really? those? No. I had a picture of them someplace because okay. they're like ancient, and, and they were like very, like pretty much the precursors to like, like uh, Copic, the prism okay. colors and Copics. Same okay. kind of deal. Oh, I love this page. This is just a this really is cool. This again. This is great. Who who had a really one of his wow. greatest attributes is his. Oh wow, sense. this is cool. You know, like yeah, Isn't that neat. And his line work to me is just so unique and idiosyncratic. You don't see yeah. cats trying to. Uh, no, sorry for using like ancient jazz type slang cats. Uh, <laughs> But uh, you know those cats. But like, right. you don't see a lot of guys like emulating his work. Whereas, like, you see a lot of Mobius imitators, mm-hmm. you know, and, and guys going after that kind mm-hmm. of quality of line. Yeah. Work. You don't see a lot of guys that are doing this kind of stuff. Where it, there's a certain amount of freedom and like yeah. giving no shits and just going for 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 mm-hmm. for the design and. Yeah. And it being very unique and like immediately identifiable as Drulet to my eye. Yeah. Especially like if I see this instantly. Yeah. If, this even if for it sure. wasn't like a super familiar Drulet right. image, just the, the design of it, the, the, yeah. the massiveness. Uh, and he, he has this like thing with the armor, with the kind of horns. Super and, intricate. And, and, yeah. And, and, and yeah. Kind of jewel encrusted yeah. armor with different little spikes and spindles and things. Like, um, and it looks like it was designed like on the spot. Yeah, you know what I like mean. Just like like the, the, or... the kind of thing like Jack Kirby would do. Like mm-hmm. he just lay things out on the page and. Yeah. And... It's kind of neat. Those little like geometric circles. A lot of geometric. Like uh, yeah. Shapes a lot to of like detail. I mean to, this... to tie the images together. Like that's a great like design yeah. device, of yeah. like you know, well, leading the great. eye and all kinds of st- things yeah, like that, that you can do. That 
twice. It's just That's I great. love that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. another great page. I sometimes wonder how much they paid attention to the original, like, sequence of pages, like where the page, I guess they would have to because there's a lot of, especially in his work, there's a lot of double page spreads mm -hmm. and things like that. Like, that's amazing. Yeah. Maybe a poster. Just the, every time I see stuff like this, I, you know, or writes in, I just think of time. I equate yeah. art to time. I'm yeah. like, man, that took, you know, five days or whatever to just sit here and do all that. Just knowing that you're going to spend that yeah. much time and like, just being like, okay. To do one it. page yeah. or two pages. Like, you know, you better make this into bookmarks and covers and poster. I mean, what other ways can I like leverage this time yeah. besides just a page in a book? You know, I don't know for certain, but I get the vibe that like they're not operating under the same kind of like time constraints that like somebody doing a weekly yeah uh, i mean a monthly like avengers comic or something I, uh, this yeah, looks more it, like a, a, a like tour kind of work like once a year or whatever yeah like i'm gonna do this 16 yeah, yeah. 16 page story and i'll have it for you in like yeah. you know three four months whenever, well, I, however long it takes them to do so i would like love this. to also hear from someone who knew about the economics of that like what was their page rate oh, was, yeah, yeah. you know could they live off you know um a six page story in this for six months or you know what i mean like or did they have to do all these other you know i'm just curious like because i have no visibility into what yeah. their you know pay was con compared to like jack or some of the american right. guys at, at the time yeah that's a good question you know because if they're getting paid know. enough maybe they could survive i, off, I think that know? they, they uh, would have to have some, some kind of gigs, decent right? page rate yeah and other gigs too i'm sure they're they, he did album covers, yeah, movies did album like, covers, yeah. like other stuff, things yeah. like that. But, uh, and also the whole thing about, you know, comics in Europe being, having, not having the same kind of stigma that they did in the States, right. especially at this time. Yeah. Like they were, obviously these were aimed at adults. Right. So, we're, yeah. we're, you know, just like in Japan with manga, there, there's manga for everybody. Yeah. For all, all kinds of uh, demographics, not yeah. just... I really like this. I don't know why, but I really, I just really just like again the, for this. me, it's like stuff like this is interesting because it's idiosyncratic, it's unique, it's yeah. not, and it's just weird. It's just yeah. like this, it, like it yeah. is his aim to tell a story here or just to entertain by just yeah. being odd. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, what, yeah. what 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 is his purpose and all that? Yeah, now we're going back to Dan. Another another uh, installment another, of Dan. Dan. This is so good. Another we could sit here and talk beautiful, about beautiful, beautiful yeah. like color work yeah you know it's it, the choice is like okay you know i would have said okay backgrounds are orange on this page and yeah. i'm going to change it but you know he doesn't do that i would have said maybe a hot red you know he yeah. does like like a rose you know pink and just these little things that he's doing uh is just really fascinating the other purple with this yellow they're opposite sides of the color wheel you know just yeah it's so good. Here's one thing that I didn't dig about uh, Den and mm -hmm. some of Corbin's work is the use of just like the regular typeset yeah. stuff. And uh, like this stuff here? Yeah, he does yeah, that a there's lot. There's like no lettering, like I, even it, thought. It might, <laughs> like this here, I charge. It's like, come on, dude, can we like. Yeah. And then like know? that juxtaposed against the very organic it, kind yeah, of like makes sound this effects. Look stuff even uglier. Or out of place. Yeah. But I wonder. I wonder because of his popularity like? in Europe, well, if like it that. wasn't done for the purposes of easier translation or something. It like might that. have been because you, you can even see it's like it's not even like yeah, it's it, really it, sloppily. It's, yeah, it's not even like placed well. But that's that's but also that could, be that could just be the, the sliding plate maybe or sliding plate or just yeah. like we need to get this out now. Yeah, you know, like yeah. by the time they're publishing this, this is all stuff that's already. Uh, well, I don't know. I wonder if... Uh, what I don't know is whether, like, this was done specifically I, I don't, for was this in the heavy French? metal? This wasn't in the French, was it? There are or, some... Or later. There, there was... It was later, and there yeah. was some other Richard Corbin stuff, yeah. underground Richard Corbin stuff that he had self-published that mm. showed up in early issues of Metal Herlot. But. you got to just appreciate the boob 
and it's incredibly <laughs> I don't know, just double on, lit. Yeah, like, it's like double lit. The shadows. I mean, yeah. I don't know the, if he had a model there or not, but like talk he did about use rendering. A lot of models. Talk about he rendering. also he also That's did just, a lot of like sculptures, like just oh, did he? Like he would just quickly do sculptures, mm. and it gets into it in that book that I, I showed when we were looking at the other issue, yeah. where he would just use it for like uh, lighting reference. Yeah. So here's where we get into that almost cartoony thing yeah. where, you know. Other artists, Drew Lay would even put in all the scales, and you would see all yeah. that texture. And here we're just doing like a outline yeah. with with a little bit of like a kind of like rounded form, but that's it. Yeah, you know, just to you know compare that to some of the other images, you know, where you have this hyper yeah. detailed impact. Uh, do you think that's to kind of like not that this is like a super deep story or or you know. Uh, something like that but like whether this was done because to me this 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 indicates that the the artist or author doesn't want me to spend a lot of time yeah. this is just like what yeah. we're doing to get this to is point important a. Like, the, the, yeah. like yeah the we're more gonna, detailed yeah. stuff is where we want you to I, focus on i would think because that, that's I would, effective I think. too as, as right? a storytelling yeah uh method yeah it's great oh yeah now here we go back to where he's yeah this is kind of like how and, this is why I, I, I always uh, like tie this in with like uh, Sword and Planet type of deals uh -huh. where like, you know, John Carter. Yeah. Right? John Carter from Mars. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. if you've ever read yeah. the original yeah. Edgar Rice Burroughs stuff, he gets, in, in that story, he gets mystically transported to Mars where right. he's a s Superman. Right. And this is kind of a take on that, but it uses like this weird homemade technology yeah. That so transports him really and transforms great. him. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's great. That's really great. And he would do a lot of interesting things like this where yeah. he would just put paint on a piece of paper and then just like turn it on its side so it that kind of like yeah, roll and bleed and kind into of into like these go. interesting organic shapes and then yeah. build around that. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. yeah. You see more of that later. Another installment okay. of Conquering yep. Armies with an, uh, more incredibly rendered. Yeah. Super moody. It's so interesting. Super spooky stuff. So different styles, mm -hmm. different types of stories, even. Yeah. Um, the, I don't really think there's a theme necessarily in these issues. It's no. just like, you know. Uh, I think these came together uh, organically with like, let's just feature like some of the coolest things yeah. we could find. Right. And then the, 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 the common theme is that, you know, these are that's really cool. fantasy sci fi based. That's like, really that's cool. insane. That's really great. You know, when you're talking about art, you can talk about the principles of art and design. Yeah. Shape, line, color, value, you know, those things. Yeah. And you can say, okay, these have those things in it. But that's more of a quantitative thing. But qualitatively, you say, I like or I don't. You know what I mean? It, it impacts me in some way. Yeah. You know? And it, it also um, has to do with what the artist, what the goal of the artist was. Is the, goal, if the goal of the artist is to make a beautiful photorealistic painting or you know or maybe not photorealistic but like impressionistic thing that still shows the the, the realistic qualities of, of the subject matter that's one set of criteria and if you're going after that you can say whether you're successful or not yeah if you're if you're if you're somebody like Geiger who's just after like taking these beautifully rendered images of grotesque subject matter, and that's what you're vibing off of. Right. He's succeeded in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you if you if you hit the mark that you're shooting for, then that's you win. success. Yeah. Right? This can we say? Can we agree? Yeah. This is badass. Yeah, that could be like a I, painting. That could I be love a that. Alone. Notice, you know, you get the borders here. As... No border. This I love the contrast. Yeah. Whenever you get this high contrast stuff. And the shadow, it's great. And the shadow is, the, you know, and pure blacks. And, yeah. and like, there, there's That's some. really good, dude. There's not. Well, yes, there is some cross hatching and some. A little bit. Where, right here, you can see right. at least he's doing some kind of texture there. But I'm assuming he's using crow quills and brushes. And, I don't know. All kinds of stuff, maybe. Yeah. Brushes for sure. Brushes really, for the big yeah. spots. Cause yeah. And then, then here, maybe there's so little much little black. Pens or, yeah. Look at all these little lizard, little iguanas or whatever these are, monitor lizards or yeah. something. Really this cool. This crazy, yeah. grotesque, like scary yeah. type 
person, or I don't know what yeah. the hell that is, man. Stuff of nightmares. Yeah, that's <laughs> stuff of nightmares. And These stories are so spooky. They've got yeah. that element of like. I mean, a this looks comic. like this could be an eerie. Yeah, 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 yeah for, for sure. sure, for sure. This could be there. But a, a route taken, like it's got like a European angle on it. I think, hmm. right? That's something that you wouldn't see subject matter covered in a magazine like Creepy or Eerie. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, did did Europe have a horror kind of specific? magazine like you know the 1984 the this the epic did they do a i don't know man i, I don't know because i know that horror anthology right no i don't know what about that... well what about uh 2000 ad that's not really that's not horror either that's more of a sci-fi that's more sci-fi too yeah and and that's very different than yeah than, than that's like something to talk about too Spanish is, and is, Italian, the contrast between uh, yeah. the british comics and yeah the, yeah because there's that, a big that's, that, that's a difference british and american comics which seem more closely related, yeah. But then, you know, uh, Italian, uh, Franco-Belgian. Yeah, Franco-Belgian stuff is is got its own flavor. I mean, each sort of region has its own mm -hmm. kind of vibe to it. Yeah. Very different, like yeah. you know, they approach things yeah. in, in a different way. And maybe commonalities, this is, yeah, yeah. But and I always. And this is just my ignorance, but I always associate the British as more erudite or more kind of, you know, literary. And maybe that's just because of the, the big names, right? We think of like Moore yeah. and Grant and, you I know, think, so, so think, you think of those those stories of like, you know, Halo Jones yeah. and, and things like that. You're like, oh, these stories had like all this depth and, you know, it's probably not the case necessarily more than Italian or other. Yeah. Um, but that I just in my mind always associate like okay yeah those but then like... 2000 AD had a lot of just gratuitous gratuitous violence oh and did like it? yeah like things well, like Judge, well, Dredd, Judge Dredd, Dredd, Dredd and big. martial yeah. law and like yeah this is great yeah that's another beautifully designed yeah. image I don't even know what this is it's like a Rorschach right it looks kind yeah, of like a Rorschach like a, kind of an image yeah. ink splat that I yeah. don't know I see kind of spider or something yeah but like yeah. it is a Rorschach yeah yeah like, we're each draw cool. our own inference from it. We got our ad. National so Lampoon. Got to keep that going. She's a great magazine too. Yeah. What is this? Oh, is this from? That's yeah, that's from the, the same. Too. Yeah. Age of. Ages. I do like these etching kind of. Um, who's that artist? Well, there was a number of artists back in the Edward those, Gore. Those times. Or is that yeah, his name? Uh, that would do these like line work. This yeah, super he did fine uh, line work. I, mean, I don't know if that's the. If the originals that's... have to be massive, or yeah. at least you know, at least a good. See, the, and this is an interesting approach, too, because that's probably the way he worked. He did these as single illustrations. Yeah. And then kind of like... Came up with a story. Mashed them together yeah. as part of a story. Yeah, that's right. Really I, I wonder if that happened. I wonder if he just made like a couple of like... And some Stream of consciousness like came illustrations up. and then tied them together yeah. afterwards. That'd be an what interesting way to work. I've never seen this. This is like that old Maddie. like Wizard Magazine... Um, the the pre toy, toy yeah. The... the Whatever, I'm sure this it. is going to go horribly wrong. Yeah, me. it's already. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Sorry, but is that the bendy one? Of those bendy toys. Yeah, like a Gumby. Wow, I've never, I've never seen this. Roger is good. Roger is just. Roger is love. Hurry up, he wait awaits us. What the hell is going on? Sit down here. You, oh my gosh. <laughs> Roger, I want your ass. What? The, <laughs> oh, and now we got like the. The Wiz, or the Wizard of yeah, the Land. Yeah, that's pretty insane. It's kind of and fun. See, it's crazy. I didn't know they did photo uh, that's the thing. or yeah. whatever you want to call these. Yeah, I guess they are fumetti. Well, I guess the, or, the, the, the word for, in Italian for comics is fumetti, but okay. I always but relate I think fumetti it's also, to photo photograph. Comic, right? Yeah. You know that Corbin did some of that? Did he really? Yeah, but he would take the photos and then colorize them. With like oh, airbrush really? and then do put oh, like Corbin that, color over them. I, I don't know. Cool. I don't know if I s that again. I've seen that in later issues of heavy metal or. We get another prose piece. This one by James. Yeah. Tiptree. I'm not familiar. So here you him. see it's an excerpt from yeah, the work in work process. In progress. So that's cool. Right. So before the days of blogs. Yeah. And uh, here's a couple chapters of <laughs> yeah, Game of Thrones. Get your Maybe out. we'll get some George R. R. Martin in it. Yeah. <laughs> There might be like some George R. R. Martin reviews yeah, of some he, of the books did, that he, he did, did during some, this period. What is this? This is Kaza. 
Philippe oh, Casa, who is... I like this. I, I always Look saw him... Yeah. It's gorgeous. I saw him as kind of like a Mobius-type mm -hmm. student, but this particular thing I was going to say Druna. Kind of reminds me of Druna. Yeah, that too. But, but uh, Sepieri uses a lot of cross yeah, yeah. and and... and yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. He, he's using catcher. He's not. Well, using I like, love like, Sepieri's He's work. not using the kind of pointillism. Yeah, stuff. he does get into some of that in this, I think. But That's like, very... this is like a very weird, like nonsensical yeah. kind of. And it's not all... I wonder if he's using pence. No, I think it's just the. It's just not it's super pointillism. black. Yeah. Dude, look at because cool? how big is this arena? Yeah. Because look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you don't even know if the you, camera will yeah, pick you, that. Yeah, you you can't even get a a rapidograph to go that small. You got to like. Point one, or not even a point one. These Japanese ones are horrible. Oh, what is that? I've never it's seen, like some Japanese one that Japanese I got one. on like, but this is like a oh, point yeah. zero two, and I, I think that's yeah. too big for those dots. Huh. And then I always like like here's yeah. here's, yeah, but who's then that reminds me more, of. Yeah. Um, hmm. That's that's just beautiful line yeah. work, man. Almost looks like a different artist. Yeah, the, that's, that's like a really like, like distinctly a different, different yeah. kind of thing he's testing out. Yeah, that's really cool. Look at how oh, yeah, this is really neat. And it's wordless again. Yeah, it, it's sad that sometimes there's a tendency in a wordless comic you bang through it so quick and like you really gotta yeah. stop and. But this is so dense that you can sit yeah. here and pick little yeah. sort of Easter eggs out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it is Kaza. That's great. Wow. Yeah. And he does a lot of these sort of short, kind of weird uh, things. In some later issues, he does stuff where he puts himself in these like kind of Twilight Zone situations. And he actually features himself as, oh, really? as a character in his comic. Fat, check this out. He didn't go full black here, though. He keeps this kind of... Little tiny dots. I think that's fascinating. Do you Normally, think I would think, oh, that's... that he used white paint, came back and did white paint to give it like a little bit, because it does have an effect to to bringing it down from solid black. Yeah, yeah, it does, for sure. I would have done solid black. I'm like, oh, that's what you're supposed yeah. to do. Yeah. No, he had to use a little, which means he had to use some sort of a paint. I mean, maybe a toothpick, paint with a toothpick. toothpick, or or quote, 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 with white paint works too sometimes. Yeah. That's hard to do, though. That's hard to do. My guess would be toothpick. That's my that's my guess. Or a needle. Some kind of needle. This is no, well, that's interesting, man. I never thought about using a needle for something yeah. like that. I wonder what kind of line you'd get. I don't know. <laughs> you try that. Guy practice. This is a Arzac. But it, yeah. it, it's it's funny, too, how he mm. would change the... You know, it still kind of have the same phonetic... Mm-hmm. Thing, but like would change the name of it to Harzac, Arzac, yeah, different yeah. spellings. Of, of, yeah, but another like this. These are like another. But they're not necessarily comics. connect. But the, but no, this they, isn't like chapter all, two. They're no, just no, kind of separate little alone, stories because they're so random situations. Yeah, with little shock endings like the last one. Right. And then this this creature is amazing. Yeah, but another instance of like like this piece. This whole comic could just be this one page, and I would have mm -hmm. been like happy had I not yeah. seen the rest of it. And it's an adult because we're seeing a big penis and balls. You wouldn't see that. You would, you know, it, it, yeah. it, it, there would you would just there wouldn't be a necessity to it. But he decides to do that. I'm assuming to add another level of reality, or you know, like, I just, I, like I, why not just why not position him a little bit where the thigh covers? I'm not his balls, European. You know? So, but I, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm I've curious, always like, heard this thing that like er, Europeans aren't as hung up about nudity yeah, and sexuality yeah, and stuff yeah, as Americans are, yeah, because of our, our whole puritanical heritage yeah, or whatever. Mm -hmm, yeah. So maybe something like that that is like, I mean that that gets a laugh. For yeah. Me. Like I'm not like offended on it right. about it or anything like that, but it's just. It almost looks like it's pointed in the wrong direction. <laughs> but it, it right. And there again, it's like you're looking though. at this and yeah. I get caught up in like the line work yeah. and how he's showing volume in the Yes, his I love the and, way and, he does and, that. Because he could have just went straight, but he's doing you know, showing these different, like really the different leg muscles the, yeah. and things in there by, without, by having the lights. Without it looking like a, an anatomy. Yeah, D dissection. You yeah. know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Which is and this know. here too, where it's deeper and that kind of spaces out the showing this yeah. volume. No, it 
I mean, he knows anatomy. He knows yeah. volume. He knows these things. Like, um, like those lines are there, not just out of like you know. For me, I'd have that much line work, and it would just be neurotic, like scribbling for just my own entertainment. Yeah, right. And then forgetting that I'm supposed to be on a bigger piece. Yeah, yeah. Every one of these lines is defining shape yeah. here, which is why he's Mobius and yeah. I'm not. Yeah. And this is neat because it starts here and then kind of pulled, because yeah. it kind of pulls out a little bit. Well, using these repeating yeah, kind yeah. of circular motifs to tie yeah. in the pages. Yeah. I mean, that's all. That's all pretty. Pretty cool stuff, man. It's all really and like just thought look, out. And, and this composition here. I mean, first off, you get something like this. Like, how am I going to make this work? Because you got these weird things. But he makes that arm. Yeah. As kind part of, of the frame. Frame, frame yeah. out that, and then right there in the middle. You know, and he put and extends those wings a little, so you don't see it right. all, and slight, tilted Dutch angle a little bit, and, and also using yeah. this shape to like reinforce the fisheye lens yeah. effect. Yeah, it, that yeah, we're getting that for sure. We get that you kind know. of perspective of that. No, it's just there's a million yeah. things that just all know. colored ink drawn by one dude. Yeah, like amazing. Oh, there's more. I thought that was the last one. And he's got this thing with these like helmets. Yeah. That's kind of like his, I would say his kind of like brand or, you know, yeah. whenever you see any guy in a desert with this, you're like, okay, that's a Mobius. Because yeah. he's just, I don't know, I don't know if this is like a <laughs> Napoleon, if he got this from like a magazine of, you know, in some country somewhere. And yeah, well, saw he spent this, or... a lot of time in Mexico, and I'm not I, sure I that, that like too. that sort of. Headdress is something yeah. that you would find in in I think in Chihuahua he was. Oh uh, really? Yeah. So his his mother had married a Mexican guy. Yeah. And he, he said he spent, loved the desert. That's where he that's like where got he his, got his, his the desert. American deal. desert. Yeah. Which is another reason why I want to go out to like Monument Valley. It's like one of my yeah. things I need to do and Never just like take to, a bunch. Of I need to go photos. there. I want to go to Arches. There's yeah. like a million yeah. places I've not been. That's great. Just huh. incredible. Yeah. So cool. And now, is this a new one, or is this a, a, this looks like a new festival. I'm going to look at who this guy is. Yeah, I forgot who the artist on this is. But this is like cool line work, too. Oh, it's Barre? Barre. Yeah, I'm not super, he does stuff here and there, but he's not, he's not somebody I'm super familiar with. Yeah. There's a lot of these guys, you'll see them do like one or two oh, wow. things. And then you never hear from him again. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, I forgot about this. This is a lot of cool stuff. This reminds see. me of the the guys who did the um, the Beatles, like the uh, um, Yellow Submarine oh. stuff. Like uh, they were vibing. Off, it wasn't Peter Max, but they were vibing off the Peter Max thing. Yeah. He's a nice. I like, I like all these lines. Yeah, it, do, it does have sort of a pop art kind of vibe to yeah. it too. I like this crowd scene here. Yeah. That's like an interesting way to do that. Hmm. And and I mean, there weren't a lot of screens at concerts in the 1970s. Like, is this like? Yeah, it was a, he, it's prophetic. He knew the future, yeah, he knew the future. Like, and these super like incredibly. You know, there was like what, like California Jam, and then Farm Aid, but uh -huh. that was later on, early 80s, maybe. Yeah. I don't think it was, uh, yeah, I don't know a lot about this, this guy, but it's, it's really pretty well interesting. Done. Yeah. Like, wow. Look at a lot this. of time, man. You spend a lot of time. I just, I just see hours and rats eating people. It looks like I'm kind of <laughs> going down. That's pretty insane. Yeah. And then we got another Jule oh, piece yeah. on the back. Hey. That's the that's a double page spread. Oh yeah, yeah, from yeah, from yeah. last yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Or was it? Or maybe might have been this one, but yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. There we go. Right on. So this has been issue number uh, two of Heavy Metal. Thanks you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. You know, give us a comment. What do you think? Do you have any favorite uh, heavy metal artists? Anything you guys want us to chat about? We're here for you guys. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.